Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today to make some, yeah, glue bottle stoppers. Yeah, the ones where you just fancying up your pins really, that you pop into your glue bottle tips to stop them getting clogged up. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, that's quite a boring one I've got there. I've just got the pin in and... Yeah, I'm a bit of a pain because I lose my pins. In fact, I've put a pin in there that's not even stainless steel. Look at that. Oh, that's a good example of what occurs if you use a pin that's not stainless steel, which that one obviously isn't. So I'm just going to pop that one out of the way and pop some of my new pins in that are definitely stainless steel. I wasn't sure if the ones I'd got initially were stainless steel, so I bought a new set. And I've had them in my glue for a couple of days. They've not gone rusty like that. In fact, I'll show you. Yeah, look. You may get a bit of discolouring. That is just normal, but there is no rust. Yeah, there's no colour come off on my glue when you use a stainless steel pin. Right, so, not quite handy that. Onwards. Uh, it's inspired by this lovely one that my friend Jane made for me. Yeah, butterflies, beads. She's really gone to town with amount of beads on this. I quite like it actually. Yeah, I'm not going to go to town quite so much with my beads. This is one I've made. I quite like this because I only got a few white pins in my new set of stainless steel pins. I thought I wanted to make one with a white pin that was all pearl and silver, and yeah, I quite like that. Uh, I've made one here in purple because purple's my favourite colour. You could you could add more onto that. I got so far up and then I'm like, yeah, that's good enough. I can start my video now. But I can just keep going and adding more. I've got plenty of pre-made little beads. In fact, I'll show you how many I've got pre-made. There you go. If you've watched me before, you know that's just something I do. When I've got no mojo... And I can't think what to make. One of my go-to things to do is making little dangles ready for paperclip charms and, yeah, this, that and other. So, let's crack on. I'll show you what I'm gonna, how I'm going to make my first lot. Right, the first lot I am going to use, like I said, these stainless steel pins. And I've showed you what happens if they're not stainless steel. It's not pretty. Right, so, let's grab one. I think I will have... Yeah, I'm not too happy with colours in these, to be honest. Yeah, it's got loads of colours that uh, I don't like so much. And not so many colours I do like. I think I'm going to go for... I'll go for a blue one. Because that'll go nice with some purpley or pinky beads. Right, I've got the pin out, but I don't really need the pin to start with. Because I'm going to fasten my charm onto my pin using an earring back. Uh, these are these. I think the first time I saw anyone do it with an earring back was Tracy Fox. Oops. So that's what your earring back is. Pop it onto your pin. Try not to stab yourself, which I do often. Yeah. Then here's a charm I made earlier. I've popped this one onto a lobster clasp. And you can just hook that onto the hole in your earring back. How easy is that? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to make one, aren't I? Of course I am. Right. I'm going to do a dragonfly one. Here we go. I've done plenty of butterfly ones. I feel like doing a dragonfly one. Again, these are the dragonflies I got from Enbeads. So I'm going to do a dragonfly. Also... If you're not very good with tools and making up these little beads, I got these from N Beads. They were ready made. They were, they were really low price. I forget offhand. I will have it in my description. I think it was about a pound. Less than a pound it were for these. And I think it's the 10. <laughs> yeah, a pack of 10. So you just can't go wrong with that, can you? Oh, I've got a nice dark blue one there as well. So I'm going to use these on this one I'm making today just to make my life a bit easier. So if you don't have all these ready-made <laughs> ones like I do and you don't want to be doing too much jewellery making, these are an ideal alternative. Right, next, I've got some pieces of chain. Yeah, 
these are what are called extenders for necklaces yeah you know if you just want to make your necklace a little bit bigger pop one of these on but i love these little short lengths of chain because they're fabulous for making these glue dangles so I am going to have to crack out some tools for this one. There will be a bonus one at the end that you can make without any tools. Yeah. Right. I've got some jump rings. These are ones from my stash. These are five millimetre. I like this size. They're not so small that I can't see to do them. But they're not too big. I do have bigger ones. But I'm choosing to use these today. So I'm just going to open that up, always twist sideways, let's grab my little, I'm going to pop the dragonfly on and I'm going to pop the end of that piece of chain on, then I'm going to close that up. Another handy thing I've got is this, it's one of, it's a little ring. I'll do the next jump ring with that. I mean, I'm not a jewellery maker. This is not. It's not. We're not making fine jewellery. We're making it good enough to stick in our glue bottle. I'm going to grab another one of these pieces of chain. And on the end of this one, I'm going to pop one of these beads. Then I might pop... I wish I'd got some smaller dragonflies as well. I might just pop a little bead like this on yeah now these are kinds of beads that you would normally use as a spacer bead can you see here yeah that's a spacer bead that we've got either side of that but i think they're quite handy just to pop on the end of a dangle oh we did have some dangle ends in one of those boxes from m beads didn't we oh yeah i forgot i had them oh use a dangle end let's use a dangle end <laughs> I'm trying to use a spacer bead as a dangle end and we've got dangle ends now I'm going to open this one up using that ring so I'm holding it with my pliers and I'm going to grab that ring yeah that's quite easy I forgot I had that if I had a memory that would be brilliant so I'm going to pop I think I want to pop the one with the bigger hole on there I'm going to pop the end of another piece of chain on and then I'm going to close that up again using this brass ring. It's dead under. Whee! There we go. And then I'm going to use another jump ring to pop that little dangle end on the end of that bead just to finish it off. I mean, you could put another bead on, you could put a charm on, but I only want a dragonfly on this one. Can't find the end of that. I'll try a different one. The good these ones. Here we go. I can see end on that one. Actually, these are good jump rings if you're wanting to make up your own little lengths of chain when they're fastened so nicely like that. Whee. So I'm gonna pop the end of my bead on. Then I'm gonna put my these dangle ends have got to have a name. They've got to have a name other than dangle end, haven't they? Well, it'll do for me. Dangle end. Dingle dangle. No, don't sing, woman. Don't sing. There we go. You know you want to. There you go. Is that? If it's not mega flush, just grab that. I think a lot of my trouble with bead making these days is down to the fact that I can't see very well. There you go. You really need to get some new reading glasses, I think. So, that's that. Right, so we've got the dragonfly, we've got a bead. I want a light about bead. I might put those further up. I don't know. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another bead on the end of there. Uh, I'm going to go for that light turquoise blue. I like that one. So I'm going to grab another jump ring. Whee. Twist that sideways. Pop 
that on. And I'm going to pop that end on. See, I keep forgetting I've got this brass ring. There you go. I always feel it just to see if it's sharp. I don't want it. I don't want to cut myself getting glue out. That would be a bit disastrous, wouldn't it? Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to attach it to the top of there. I'll do it. Rather than explain it, woman, just do it. That big company's catchphrase, I think it is. I can't have it. Just do it. <laughs> just get on with it. Well, I'll just get on with it. Eee. So, I'm going to put that on the very end. It's about next to end, I think. Next to end one. On my dragonfly. Then I'm just going to grab that. Not in the middle, so that one's going to be lower down than other. And I'm going to pop that over. And I'm going to close them back up. Not with my brass ring, because I've just momentarily forgot I own it again. And then, already, we've got the dragonfly. And we've got two beads on that. Now, we can put any other beads on that we want. But for now, I'm just going to leave that, because you've seen me do enough beads. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a lobster clasp on that and those are in the set that I've got from NB. I've got my bits from all over. I've got jewellery making stuff that I've been picking up on and off for years and years. I've had a lot recently from NB and I've got to say I do love the prices and yeah. The, I'll, I did the unboxing recently, didn't I? And there were a coupon code. I'll put that again in this description. So if you do want to buy from NBeads, you can. Right, what am I looking for? What am I looking for a jump ring? It appears that I've lost the ability to talk and do today, doesn't it? Can't do and talk. Multitasking, not happening. So I'm going to open that one jump ring using my brass ring that I've just remembered I own. Lucky thump. There we go. So I'm going to pop my lobster clasp on. Then I'm going to decide where I want to put that chain on. You could pop that chain over anywhere you wanted. Now you can't see me doing this, but I'm holding it up in the air just to see how things dangle. <laughs> Dingle dangle. I like that amount of dingle dangle. So I'm going to put my chain on round about there. Don't drop that. This is not a professional jewellery making tutorial. If you are a seasoned jewellery maker tuning in for the first time and rolling your eyes, then yeah, this is not the place for you. <laughs> This is me showing you that even if I can make these, I think you can too. Oops, I've dropped my brass ring. I think it already. That's it. Right. <laughs> wow, look, we did it. I quite like that. We could do... We need another end stopper on there. Let's put one on. Bead dangle. Dangle end, or whatever I decided to call them. Dingle dangles. Let's open that up. Find the bead. Grab a dangle end. Dangle end coming through. Oh, should we use a dangle? Let's use a bead. You know, I've said you can use these instead of dangle ends. Put your money where your mouth is, woman. Prove it. Prove that you can do what you said you can. Right, this is a spacer bead. You have to open your jump ring up pretty wide to get this on. There's a fair chance you're going to drop it. Ooh. Fair chance. I think I will put the spacer bead on before I put the other thing on. Might have to take it out from between your tweezers. There we go. Another thing I've been putting on jump rings is buttons. Some little baby buttons and they're quite cute. I'll show you a couple. Use your brass ring, woman. It's much easier. Try and remember that you own it. I did well remembering to go up today, I think, with my memories it is. 
There we go. Just start to come apart a bit, that's better. So yeah, on end of that one look, we've got a little spacer bead. Yeah, no, all the things I'm using are available at end beads, or you can get them wherever you fancy. I quite like that. That's cute. Now there's two things we can do with that. Right. I'm going to unclip that one. I can't honestly remember if I remember to tell you this at the beginning. These are stainless steel eye pins. They're for jewellery making. They're for making these. Yeah. Uh, but they're also really good for putting in your glue bottle rather than a pin. And there's less chance of you stabbing yourself. Uh, this one is 0.6 millimetres wide and it does fit in the metal tip that comes with the art glitter glue. And if you've made your charm like this in a lobster class, just pop one of them in, clip that on and you're done. There you go. And if you feel like changing your charms, you can. So that's that. So it will clip just like that onto an eye pin or if I get back my pin here I might, oh I've took the earring back off with that haven't I? right so we've got a stainless steel sewing pin we've now got an earring back pop those together then again you can clip this onto there and again you've got another glue dangle I should have, let's show you in a shorter bottle, yeah, shall we? There you go, another glue dangle. Yeah, you, like I said, go to town, put as many beads on these as you want. Right, I did say I'd show you a bonus one at the end, didn't I? One that you can do with no tools whatsoever. I mean, you may like this, you may not. It's just peeking in here. I made this one with a paper clip. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was cute. I'll grab a paper clip and show you how I did it. I think you can already see how I did it. It's not, it's not rocket science, is it? Right. Ooh. So, just bog standard paper clip that I've got out of my paper clip. Why is that one already got beaten? Why on earth? Oh yeah, I, I did. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Oh my word, if I had a memory. Yeah, that I decided that if you did want to use tools or you wanted to use a jump ring that was already fastened together like that, it's possible to join two paper clips, yeah? And they twist. You know, if you join two paper clips by just threading one onto the other, they're not really as flexible, are they? Show it, yeah, like that. If you join them with jump ring, they're much more flexible. But I don't want to do that today. I don't even know if that's a daft idea. Right, so here we go. Oh, two ticks. Oh, I'm back. That was postman at door. Well, post, post lady, post person. Yeah, whatever. Right, so yeah, I'm going to make one of these with a paper clip. So, dead easy. Grab a few beads. I use some little seed beady type beads. And I've got quite a few over to one side here. There's one. There's a few more. There we go. Just from my stash. I tend to favour pink, can you tell? Right. Now all you need to do is thread these on the end of the paper clip. If the holes in the beads are too small, or the beads are too small, you tend to find they won't go around that corner. Yeah, so just experiment. See, that one doesn't want to go around the corner very well. But it just did. So I'm going to stick a pink one on, a pearly one on. Are you going to go on, Mrs. Pearly? That one doesn't want to go on. Sometimes they, they are, they're not real pearls, these. We know the plastic. Sometimes the holes are like blocked, aren't they? That's that. Now next, I'm going to pop a charm on. 
and I'm going to pop, ooh, I happen to have a little rabbit there, but I'm going to go for a butterfly or a dragonfly. Let's go for a dragonfly this time. I did a butterfly on the last one. So I'm just going to pop one at dragonfly charms on. Again, if you want to mess and use jump rings, do it. But this is supposed to be one that you can do without using any tools. Then I'm going to pop another pink and another clear bead on. Oh, that's a different pink bead, but I like it. Well, I think that's got a very that's got a very small centre hole. That were a little glass bead. That's another pink one. And we'll do that slightly larger pearl one. Go on, you know you want to. So there we have it. That's just your dragonfly, four pearls. And it's just really anything so that you don't lose. Yeah. Glue pin. So I've got another glue pin there. It happens to be a red one. Don't match very well. Get your little bottle woman, it fits under the camera. And I've used the earring back, and then I'm just gonna thread that part of the paper clip through. And there you have a rudimentary little glue dangle. There you go. I think that's quite sweet. Yeah. So there we have it, glue dangles, three ways there, none of them using glue and one of them not even using tools. So if you want any of the things that I mentioned in the video that I got specifically from N Beads, I will link them down below. Things I've used from other places or when I've got N Beads orders myself, go, go and check out the website. There's an awful lot an awful lot of things on it. I can't think of any jewellery making supply that is not on it. They've got the tools, they do the boards, they do everything. So yeah, go over and check them out if you're in market for any of these bits and bobs. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.